all truth and glory to the Most High and not the counterfeit Yahweh who try and pose as the Most High. Today this exposure is called Angels versus Nephilim. See, we're in a time now that there's, it's not about lessons anymore. It's about exposure. Our time is pretty much up. Angels versus Nephilim. And his first call was Yahweh throne. See, Yahweh's throne is about religion, Christianity, Judaism, Islam, and all of those religions. It is about seventh heaven according to their books. His name is called the Word of God. Who is God? God is Yahweh. You're going to find out that it goes back to Yahweh, as I keep saying. Revelation 19, 13. And his name is called the Word of God. We're still talking about Jesus. But we know it's Yahweh. Jesus says anything is a Nephilim. When you have an entity called the Holy Ghost that comes down and lay with a human, that's the same thing as a Nephilim did. No different. It's a hybrid. Hallowed be thy name. Seventy-two names of God. Hmm. Then you have seven heaven. What vibes with this? Angel worship. Red planet. Steel lessons. Artificial intelligence. Change name, Denise Dixon. You see, this first set of code is about names. That they have meaning and soul ties. Just as you call on these gods and angels, names. The same as when you call on these YouTube, these Nephilims, with these scripted names. You must understand that this beast system is very organized and every single part of it is scripted. They have several names that they throw at you. They're always changing their name. Once they have been exposed, they still listen because they are the artificial intelligence. And their soul has been compromised when they sold it. They're off into angel worship. And if you follow them, that makes you in covenant with them. And you are also an angel worshiper. No more lessons are being taught. This is a time of exposure. You see, everything is on the internet. Whether it's chemtrailing. Um, viruses. It doesn't matter what it is. Lesson time is over. It's over. It's all about exposure. This was interesting. Hoodwinker sunfish. What does it mean? It means hitting. Tick-tock. What vibes with all this here? Wolves in sheep clothing. Posing as humans. So this molar tecta is an ocean sunfish. The Latin word tecta means hidden. The word hidden was adopted for the name because the fish has blended in among other species of sunfish for a long time and has only been discovered recently, just as you Nephilims have recently been discovered, posing and blending in as humans. You are the wolves in sheep clothes. You look like us, you look human, but you're not. 
Governor Christine Rogori. That was interesting. DC bomb plot, man known to FBI. What's going on with this guy? What's a Grigori? Grigori. Advised by Nephilim. Giants. Bipartisan Policy Center. Sayal. This governor, Christine Grigori, was part of the Bipartisan Policy Center, which is a Washington, D.C. based think tank. Remember, your politicians are Nephilim who create the South. Just as the FBI claimed the man who was at the Capitol riot wanted to bomb the data center near D.C. Her last name is Grigori, just as the Grigori. Who were the giants? Nephilim. Just as I said earlier, these people have scripted names and have been strategically placed in key positions in this beast system. They are your governmental agencies, CIAs and FBIs, think tankers, which comes up with these psychological operations to deceive the real human. The Gemini Angel of 10, 10, 10. Perfection of protection. The magician, the nine of pentacles. It's all about signs, Michelle. What vibe was it? Pentagram, zodiac signs, magic. Hmm. See, the Gemini Angel of 10 is Ambrail. Once again, he ends in L. Why do they all end in L mostly? Because it's scripted. But Ambrail, which is over general protection and clear communication, is referred to in the magical calendar. See the angels, the creator of magic, signs, and symbols. The angels or the fathers or parents of the Nephilim. Hmm. The serpent's plan to escape through CERN. This of this. What does this mean? It means to flee. Leave Babylon. Nephilim flee to the wilderness. You see, the Nephilim are the ones who are setting up their escape to flee through to the wilderness and leave Babylon. Their escape plan is through CERN and not to enter because they have always been among real humans. You see, when this drop first came out, they were talking about CERN is being opened up a portal to let the fallen in. The fallen has always been here. The wilderness is here. Hollow Earth, they have a whole city built upon the rust. You see, the escape is not for those who are keeping the commandments and instruction, because the Most High will protect us. See, the Nephilim know that time is up. Armageddon has happened. The millennium has happened. All this stuff has already happened. Most High is getting ready to deal. And if they can get you to go to the wilderness with them, I just more for them. See, the books are telling you about their history. Let's say the most I did give us a book. You see, at one point in history, they stole the books, took them, and then made it to where if you were caught reading, you were punished for it. So ask yourself, if they took the books, when they gave them back to you, why would they give them back to you? Just like they took them. So you know they manipulated and they changed everything. And you still have people worshiping the book. 
who hasn't even thought about it, who hasn't even discerned it, why would your enemy give you back a book that's going to cause you to walk in victory? No, your book, these books have compromised. Nephilim have written this, changed up key factors. That's if the Most High gave us a book. But the Most High has put the instructions and commandments on the inside of us. It seems like the gods, and that's plural, gods hate man. I completely doubt Yahweh. Yeah, the gods do hate man. The angels, are, the angels are gods. Let's see. Do not trust angels. All this vibe. Yahweh hates man. Yahweh is a cannibal. Gods are angels. See, when you call on God, you're calling on an angel, Yahweh. You see, how this is the most high God of Israel. Yahweh was the God of Israel. And Israel is nothing but the Nephilim. You are just human. Your job is to keep the most high commandments and instructions. And you will be protected. You won't call no children of the most high. That's a hijack. All that goes back to Yahweh. Before I made you, I knew you. Father's only begotten child. Yahweh made Nephilim. Yahweh is counterfeit. Yahweh is androgen. Baphomet. Lucifer is Yahweh. Yahweh is the morning sun. See, the Nephilim on YouTube oh, and every other stage and platform in Yahweh B system is made by Yahweh, who is the counterfeit to the Most High. This is why they are created characters with created names, jobs, and lifestyles. Everything about them is created and counterfeit. The Baphomet, which is Yahweh, is androgen. So, so most of them are also that are Nephilims are androgen. Trans. This is the system. Hmm. Notice the children looking up to the Baphomet. And the Baphomet has a breast and penis. This is nothing but pedophilia, child trafficking done by the Nephilim, the creation of Yahweh. This is their system, people. Anything that's wicked that's going on was created by Yahweh. And it's his beast system. Hmm. You know, when Yahweh calls, they try to say Lucifer is the morning sun. But it's not. It's Lucifer is Yahweh. Just going by another name. Like he always does. Isaiah 14 and 12 and verse 13 will show you that. The books have been corrupted and manipulated. So they're going to say Lucifer is a man. But he's not. Lucifer is Yahweh. Hmm. Lucifer said that he was going to set his throne above the stars and be as the most high. See, man doesn't do that. If they do, they'll never who are wolves in sheep clothing, who is posing as a man. But all the time, it's a nephilim. See, I just went past all that demon possessed. See, though, that, that keeps you at a low vibration. Demon possessed. No. The Nephilim. See, this is what they do. It's just a little truth to it. 
They don't want you to find out the total truth. And then I got to drop this warning from a friend about anagrams. Well, my next lesson about anagrams. But when I bring the lesson, I'm sorry, I don't want to bring this. I didn't mean to say that's on you to say listen. But it's an exposure. The next exposure that I bring up, what these Nephilim names mean through an anagram. You know, all you can do is sit back and give glory to the Most High for revealing the truth to you. You know, when you are able to discern certain things. We're able to discern that the Bible is a book of spells. It's been changed and edited. When you begin to understand that this beast system is about angels and nephilims. Like I said, the God made our war. It's about angels versus nephilims. The Revelation talks about that with saints caught up in the middle. But we're not saints. We don't call ourselves saints. The Bible is coded language, people. When you're able to pick up on it, then it's going to be the most high that's going to give you the wisdom to do it. But you've got to be keeping those instructions and commandments. If you want the most high to go to work for you and reveal to you their hidden mysteries. Most High doesn't hide anything from us. Keep those commandments and instructions. The Most High will give you the truth. All pray, uh, sorry, all glory and truth to the Most High. And not that counterfeit who poses as the Most High. Be blessed, family. Be blessed.